What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King Johnson before and today I would like to talk about a big feature that should be added into Black Ops 3, which is the feeder mode. Why hasn't it been added since Call of Duty Ghost? We do not know, I still don't know to this day, but I do have some few theories about it though, because I remember Call of Duty Ghost and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare were still in development after, um, you know, before the announcements of the official dates of the release dates of uh, PS4 and Xbox One, so that's kind of excusable for those two games, but for Black Ops 3, I'm pretty sure that's still not an excuse, because they for sure started the development after Call of Duty Black Ops 2, so they cannot say there's an excuse going around, so, uh, and you cannot say also there's not there's enough space in the freaking disc to put that freaking feature, like, there has to be enough space, because now you're working on next gen, and by the way, Black Ops 3 will only be coming out for the PS4 and, and the Xbox One only, not for Xbox 360 or for PS3, so now you have enough development team members working on the same game to put more effort in it, and also to have enough time to put the theater mode, so you can't say no to that. So there's no excuses, Von Dehar. You have to put a theater mode back in. We want to make montage clips. I want to see where I went wrong in my gameplay. That's what. I, that's why I mostly see it. And also, I want to see where people are usually camping. That's what I did back in Black Ops 2. People were like camping in corners and shit. Where like they were like going like 59 and and I don't know and 10 most of the time. And I was like, well, what the hell was this guy hiding? You know, I want to do kind of the same thing, but add a little bit into my strategy, into my rushing strategy. And that's exactly what I did with this one guy that went like around 79 kills and 10 deaths on me. And I was like, what the hell was this guy from? You know, where he was coming from and shit. I want to see where he was hiding. And I saw where he was hiding and I was like, damn, I should go there more often. And I did. And goddamn, I did like a hell of a job with the Scorpion Evil later on. So... It helps us retrace our steps, it helps us create montages, and also helps the company you know, get more exposure because people are going to be able to do more video clips of your game. So, think about it. It is a win-win on both sides. Because I know Call of Duty Advanced Warfare could have gotten the same popularity if they would have returned the theater mode, but they did not return it at all. I still don't understand why, but because they did have enough time to develop that freaking feature, like a year and a half maybe after the the announcements of the of the next gen consoles. So um, so yeah, you know, allow us to make montages, allow us to retrace back our steps, allow us to see where other people are camping, because that's gonna help us out a lot of learning to the game. So um, that is it. That's all I wanted to talk about. You know, theater mode should come back now because they have enough time to develop the feature. If not, it will be coming on the next Call of Duty, I guess. So I mean, it was a good feature. Only on Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2 though. Black Ops 2, it was super good. I mean, you can vote on people's clips. You can see the community, what people were posting and shit. It was super awesome. I want to see that again. So, let's all vote for yes. You know, put back Feeder Mode, by the way, Wonder Har. So that is it. Subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Black Ops 3 information and also more Black Ops 3 news. And um, Call of Duty Events Warfare gameplays. See you guys later and subscribe for more.